Yeah, that is your nationality. Yeah, but why bring the Tswana culture on us? Being like my identity is like who I am. I am Naro. In the country here, we have got about uh, 15 different kinds of sand communities. One thing which differs us is the, the, the ge geographical landscapes. Others, we some were in the sand, some were on the, on the rocks, and the languages also differs. So if the, somebody from here, when he speaks, uh, people from the sand communities, they cannot hear, they cannot, they don't understand him and the hunting skills what I've learned is that they are just the same so it's not much different but you can't practice culture without land you can't have any economy without land Tadidin,ハネディスクリスクアナ。え、コニ、ハネディベレサ。ハニココトンアンカナクリハイニハナ。インメニコニカボディン。ウタムカナハナカ。ハニチャコニ。ハネディココトンクリンハ。カコネハ
As a hunters and gatherers, if you are found hunting without a special license, you have illegal hunting and you find a sentence of a year in prison or a sentence of 2,500 pula. So these laws and policies makes us difficult and we are intimidated to believe on them. The system, the way it's designed, uh, everything is a is prison now. <laughs> you do your culture, you go to prison. Yeah. You are a poacher. <laughs> and the government will never allow us. Like for example, look at CKGR. They have safaris and stuff like that. But that is not their, their, their ancestor's place. It's our ancestor's place, you see. Ba <laughs> Ahai <laughs> 
In Botswana, yeah, some will, will have to say Mosara, some will say Mosara Shin, sorts of names. Obviously, uh, these uh, names, they are associated with some negative things. They mean something negative. Those who don't own anything, those who do not own, that's what it means when you say Masaro. When we have uh, your mindset believing that one is nothing, you can call him anything. We can say this dog, but it doesn't matter. When you are financially struggling, you normally have to to be exposed to a negative things. So if you if you can imagine most of the young people not employed in just Rumi in the in the village, you should expect many negative things. You think about the same thing all the time. You do the same same things all the time. And the people around the they do the same thing as you are, sitting, playing a small game, then it's already a dawn. Ah. Tomorrow, the same thing. Same place. Going to house to house, checking friends, and then you, are for, you forgot your life. When are you going to absorb other things from outside? and bring them into your community. Guru Development Trust uh, is a trust owned by same people. It's an organization for self-development to make us believe in ourselves, to know who we are and to move forward as we are. This trust has programs. We have Guru Museum, Guru Game Farm, Guru Art Project. Sorry, Mkorko. Our 
Yang itu tiru tiru artis kor kor kuah ngerika. Ada orang kor kor drawing kor kor ay orang ngeri kuah ni. Kaya kor kor minta mu kuah ya sa. Yang ngerika, uang kor jar kosino, nor kosi hoji kor kor minta mu kor kosin ay kor tu cak kos kor kor kuah sa. Ara kabang ngas kati kuah jar kor naya no. Nor kosi hoji hoji ngas kor kor kosin ay kor tu cak kos kor kor kuah sa. Sultan kerja mati, pun kamu kuma sira-sira. Orang kalak kerja tak kamu mati, kalau kamu mengatir kamu sira-sira kata kerja ini kamu kalau. Najis kuji, macara najis kuji, kata kamu kuhana kamu kante. Abang kerja kerja kumur, kamu kerja 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 kerja. Tama kerja. Dapat tama. Ibat kumur, ibat kumur. Ibat kumur, ibat kumur. Ibat kumur, ibat kumur. Ibat kumur, ibat kumur. Kerja kerja nak, nak dah memang masih kat dek. Ah, kau kau uji ni kau ibu tu. Ah, mungkin je aku kisah semua tu kisah semua aku lapun aku tu macam lapun tua antua. Ibu ayah, nak kau ibu si. Eh, kau kau tahu tak si? Ibu sana kau sa. Isteri tak kau bisa, kau 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 sa. Jeu, i order. Kompu poro kusibo, cewu ibal tuah aku, tuah tak aku mai tak kaya tak aku. Hei ha, hunting and elan, tu stai klien painting ki. Hmm. Macam yang kamu kait berusi tumpuk. Ya. Four thousand five hundred. Ye kray two thousand five twenty two. M. I don't care about how much the album costs. What about the money? And this time around, we are still struggling. We are financially down. How do I tell you? To tell the court, to tell the court, to tell the court, management. Just like Messi. Hey, yeah, Messi, yeah, Messi, yeah, all he do yeah, is he, he, he trains. Yeah. Uh, everything is handled by the manager. So what I I get Because you dream big, so you have to look for other people. The other people to assist you.
Dika is the only land owned by Sen people in Botswana. Dika is a commercial farm. It's not a tribal land. So Dika is managed by the church. It's both uh, good and not good because government wants to take Dika. So they will say they will not provide certain uh, services to Dika because Dika is a farm. there is no how government can assist the people who are living here. Because like older, if you go to other settlements, the government builds houses for old people, brick houses for old people and even cattle. Government is giving some cattle to other people who are staying in, this, in the settlements. But for us here, yeah, they, they say there's no way we can graze our cattle, so, so it's very bad for us here. Yeah. Actually, Government has said that give us the land, we want to develop you in the land. And the church is said that the land belongs to us and is and we to our people. If you want to help them, come and just do the help. Do everything you want to do for these people here. If you bring everybody to come in there, they will come there, people will come with power, with money, with everything. They will buy out the land from us and they will not have any reverence. Go to New York Valley, there's a beautiful clinic. There's a beautiful school. There are teachers there. There are nurses there. They teach, but if you go to the rates of different kinds of diseases, like tuberculosis, drinking and people drinking every day, that's the disease which I see. Yeah, the older people, they feel bad about the way the younger generation now, they use the substances and, and the alcohol. Even smaller children, younger children, they drink. 
and then they misunderstand each other. They fight, kill each other. And these things we didn't do. In the old days, we didn't know of such things. Na <laughs> Abe <laughs> Quaker <laughs> Eh, <laughs> Kira Kira <laughs> ไอ้ตํากะตะไอ้งูนูรุงวะนี่กาบาจิขุจิสิตะดิงูวนขะเนี่ยอันนูรุงวนนาวะขะตะกะบอนเนี่ยไข่ตะนาวะขะกะมา
In 2002, now they come up and say that it's enough. It's enough. We are not going to continue bouncing water and bringing food. We move everybody. They even set a date and say in two weeks we'll be here. So in two weeks they come, they pour out the water, they take everything which belongs to government, they shut the boreholes, they seal them, and they put everybody in trucks. They bring the police, they bring the army, they come with everything, which makes it much, much, much threatening to everybody to move. And then I'm telling you, 90% of people moved by 2002. That is a time when I and my organization now come and say that, let's approach court. But that was not a victory which they should celebrate. Then come another challenge again. Because the court has said that you government, you are not obliged to give the service to your services. So that makes the government to have got more and much power and say, we will stay by the policy of the game reserve. But we are not obliged to give services and will more punish these people by not giving special and services and starve them and they will agree with us. So all along, the issue is that we are the government. We have got power. We have given everything. Whatever we want, we'll make them, or we'll force them to do what we want. So this has been an issue. And somebody asked himself, is this sustainable? In a single trip, bouncing water is about uh, $3,600 US, US dollars for a single trip. So this is done on a monthly basis. And if you multiply that money in a year, that's a lot of money. It can drill and equip borehole, which is going to be sustainable. They could find food themselves without anybody giving or telling them to find food. Our government is not prepared to sit in a table with us in any way. Though they, they, they will go out and say, our government is a government that consult. Consulting who, how? If you are not part of the, the, the structures that they are making decisions, there's a problem. 
we need to empower youth, we need to empower women. We talk about people with disability, but we not, never talk about the minority to be part of the system. We are excluded. We are seen and we are looked as stupid people. Someone else somewhere will think about us and know what to tell us and what to give us. And they have encouraged what we call the dependency syndrome. And I'm afraid. Is this not the kind of way of finishing us in this country? Because if we don't have food, if we cannot find food for ourselves, we are going to be beggars forever. What is encouraging us? I'm worried about this. I am proud of being a sane person because we know how to live on this land together with our, our animals. It's only in the modern days that we are unable to earn our own living. But we are proud that we are the first people of this Southern Africa. Sarkoa <laughs> Nakata, <laughs> 
Case Zur <laughs> Your grand have to teach you because he's open to you. Open him meaning that he will tell you all the challenges in life. Your, your father is like somebody very close to you. And there are some of the things which your father doesn't have to tell you. Like if you talk about relationships, your father doesn't have to talk about relationship with you. But your grandfather can tell you his relationship, that's how I've gone. So, that's why he should be the person who's growing up. Tinch goes crisco and a mitty, tainted tamachi, tainted. I wonder, Kurtamaku, Tausar could come and take a word. At your tongue could crow, which crow to whom could crow into who called us a crow. Why <laughs> Send people. 
It's something that is really deep. When somebody is in the music, they can get in the trends. If you put a marimba, then we beat it a bit up. Yeah, uh, like a marimba. You want yeah. a marimba? <laughs> it's a marimba. <laughs> Right now, we have a bigger dream. It's not just only music that we want to, to have. We also want to you know, help our people. The lifestyle that, that, is, that we live, that is, you know, that is in, in our community. You know, people drink a lot. People smoke a lot and they forget about grooming the younger people uh, to be responsible. So right now, because, yeah, I have a little baby girl, man. Uh -huh. My father, that's why oh, I've, been, yeah, yeah. I've been missing in the scene. Man. We want to put more fire, man. More fire. 2020, mm. we keep the fire burning Benny. for the UNB. <laughs> But I, my plan is to teach them so that they can know who they are. I want you to, you know, like set goals or dreams, inspire. I, I think we need inspiration. I know that has been a story, and there's no the truth behind it. We've long been asking records, bring it in records, and say that they were overhunting. They call our way of life poaching. We're not poachers. We hunt to survive, and we know when to hunt. What? Where? 1997, between 1997 and 2000, the report, Wildlife Purposes Census, shows that there were a lot of animals. And after relocation, there were fewer animals. Climate exchange is hitting us. The entire world is now crying. <laughs> Agriculture has been hit by climate exchange. Tourism still survives in this country. We are the only people which can promote tourism in this country because we know wild animals, 
because of our lands, I mean, our, 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 our cultural uh, standards and activities, they can improve the economy of this country and tourism. So this is one of the things which are very, very important. We say pause, come to us, learn from us. Go. <laughs> 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 That's <laughs> Mostly, you know, we use our language, our mother tongue. <laughs> like he uses uh, Sakalahadi, uh, we use mostly Naro and English. All of us, like we use English. I could call it it's it's activism for the rights of the same people. We are marginalized and minority group. It's a pity that things are the way they are. You know, most of the Sen people are not really educated. Uh, you see, us, we've been to school. That's, that's why you, you see us having confidence. And that's why you see us having a vision of where we are going. So mostly, it's besides the poverty that we live in, uh, one needs to be educated in this era. We used to be a nomadic people, open-minded, to going, traveling, different Explore. places, exploring. You know, there are fences also in our minds, just <laughs> like the way there are a lot of fences around us. Nowadays, we don't move a lot, and our minds are secluded. So the mindset of the Sen people has to also change. But I'm not saying they should change their, their, their culture. So education is key to breaking us out of that, that shell of being closed in the same place. And now I've encouraged a lot of young people and the universities, certain communities that are coming up talking about issues. And some of them are joining me in politics. So I think like doing that, the numbers when they grow, 
I think we'll have a strong voice. Kau <laughs> 